it's Casey D and you're watching Why Tell Me Why. So this week I've taken you to my apartment where I'm cleaning because a viewer wants to know how, not really why, does soap clean? So we have the answer for you this week. Soap molecules in general belong to a family of molecules called surfactants. And a surfactant is a schizophrenic molecule in the sense that one end of it is very hydrophobic or doesn't like water at all and the other end is hydrophilic or does like water. So you take, you take some soap and you dissolve it in water um, and if there's any opportunity for the hydrophobic ends of the surfactant or the soap molecules to find something similar, a material that's also hydrophobic, something that doesn't like water, those soap molecules will aggregate or they'll migrate to where this oil or where this dirt happens to be. Uh, because most dirt is usually organic hydrophobic material of one sort or another. There are a couple of different ways, that, uh, a couple of different reasons you'll use uh, bar or hand soap. Uh, one is to remove dirt, and it works in a similar way. I should say that once the you know, microscopic pieces of dirt have been pulled off of your hand or out of your clothes, um, they are surrounded in what's called a micelle. And so soap works the same way, pulling dirt or oil or grease off of your hands. When you're cleaning your skin, the soap is trying to dissolve. It's trying to put into these micelles uh, the dirt particles that are on uh, dirt or germ particles that are on your your hands or legs or what have you. The, so the soap will will surround the dirt and break it up into small pieces and uh, encapsulate. I guess is, is the right word. Encapsulate each of those pieces into a micelle. And then carry and then carry it away carry it away down the drain with the rest of the water. Thanks for watching Why Tell Me Why this week. Now my dishes are done and my hands are clean and your questions answered. Any other questions you have, email me at why tell me why at discovery.com and I'll answer those questions for you on air.